All right, we've all seen puppets at some point in our lives, right? On Sesame Street or maybe as a part of a performance. Well, the Puppeteers of America's National Puppetry Festival is in St. Paul this weekend. It brings 400 puppet artists, including at least one you'll recognize. We had a chance to learn the technique behind the craft. A marionette master taught us how to pull some strings. It's what time is it? <laughs> I had this interest in puppetry because I had seen puppets on television that I absolutely loved. Howdy Doody was still on the show. My first marionette when I was five years old was a Howdy Doody marionette. And I wasn't a natural with it. It was tangled all the time and I, I would pick it up and it would be a mess. You know what? Audiences relate so well to animals, so they always have a special effect. <laughs> Almost like playing the piano because you're using every, uh, your whole, both hands, every finger. Yes. I, I, uh, I equate this with different musical instruments, and each marionette is unique. So it's like picking up a different musical instrument, and then you have to remember the fingering for that. Good boy. Okay, lower her down until you just feel the feet touch. Now to walk her. That's it. <laughs> Crawling along. <laughs> but all you have to do is you have to do a twist action like this to get her to walk. What excites you about the future of puppetry? Well, again, puppetry is only limited by its imagination, and we have all this new technology, this digital technology. Would you like to try to stand? There. There you go. I worked on the film Oz the Great and Powerful, and the idea was to have a marionette on set with the actors that they could interact with, but that then that marionette would create the performance and then they could digitize that performance and then she became a digital character in the finished film. I'm not as delicate as I look. Hi, Hi Brangetta. Hi. Hi. W welcome to St. Paul. What do you think of St. Paul? It's kind of overcast and gray, just the way I like it. Perfect. <laughs> as a grouch, you know, I like weather not to be so happy. You look pretty happy, though. I don't know if I can deal with you this early. Uh -oh. <laughs> Where's the boyfriend? Well, <clears throat> oh, he's back home in the can. <laughs> we were going to get married, and we thought, well, that'll make us happy. So we didn't get married. But we found out if you get married, you're usually pretty miserable. <laughs> Blew that one. <laughs> Brangetta was a lot of fun. Yes, puppets are not just for kids. No, adults too, but I was really working on trying to be, be less happy. Yes, be it's less happy. I, I couldn't do it when I was seeing her. Can't keep a smile yeah. off this one's face. <laughs> uh, National Puppetry Festival has free family fun activities going on from 12 until 5 today. And Grungetta will actually be meeting with fans from 3 to about 3.30. Yeah, Everything's cool. going on at Concordia University in St. Paul. There will also be ticketed shows throughout the day as well. And those tickets will range in price from 5 to 15 bucks. WCCO.com slash links for more information.